first of all <laughs> yeah because some guys really deserve that like in the middle of like 2 a.m just wake up and just pop because how do you fumble how do you fumble a girl like me a girl like you a girl like Nswaki. a girl like linda hmm? linda Dobas ex-husband i don't know if he is a Vodacom container a celsius container or an mtn container i'm just not sure because how do you cheat on someone that half of the girls want to be like and half of the boys want to just look at her face the whole time I am Sims, and it's at the right Sims on Instagram, so please uh, follow your sister. Guys, let me tell you now. I don't know how the girls do it, you know. We are playing around with some looks for my event. I'm testing out some looks for my event, and I'm trying to find out what my look is. I know in my mind, Kirata, Bob Cut, Kirata, I love braids. I'm just trying, guys. Do we? I'll, I'll see. But we are testing out some looks. Anyway, today, Linda Doba opened up about her heartbreak, you know, because if you don't know, Linda Doba has distanced herself higher than the highway, bigger than the big way. Stronger than strong ball. She has put a gap between her and that one of Stephen Maya. Mm. And it was rumored that she left her marriage because of infidelity. It is alleged that that man had a thing or two for um, varsity girls, okay? He was always in and out of the campuses. Go etiquini. You know, I don't know why he was looking for girls in varsity. I think maybe the textbook. He did he want to be an asfas? Did he was he giving them student accommodation? Unless your child is in the varsity, unless you are a lecturer, a professor, an employee at the varsity, why are you at the varsity? Oh, oversitate and done. What are you versiting in the varsity when you are not off to be varsity? But that was Linda Mdova's ex-husband, allegedly. So then Linda left her marriage. She never made a noise. She never said anything. She never bashed him. She just never. She's just a, a wholesome girl, not a petitia. Anyway, so... She finally opened up about her heartbreak and she was just like, this thing is stronger than my, 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 my previous marriage. I go. Anyway, she was just like going through heartbreak and loss at the same time is a battle of healing and feeling because guys, let's be honest. Losing a partner, a spouse, that is literally like grieving. It's like, I always tell you, it's like mourning. But the unfortunate part of that is that it's not an actual death, but it feels like a death because this person was in your life for a long time. You literally like created routine. You literally had your next of kin, your eyes contact, your whole life was planned out with this person and then now they are no more and it's not by your choice sometimes you know sometimes it's the situation and the circumstances that compel you to choose yourself you know and sometimes choosing yourself is the hardest choice that you ever have to make because i don't want to lie comfortability routine and acceptance lets you deal with that situation like i i'm used to it must i it's gonna change you if i leave you if i if i you know 
So the choice of self is sometimes the hardest because peace is very expensive, guys. I don't want to lie. Peace will have you leave your car. Peace will have you leave your house. Peace will have you looking insane to other people, but you are choosing yourself at the time. Ask me. Peace will have you homeless, okay? Like peace will have you stumbling, leaving people, leaving people you grew up with, leaving people you grew in love with, leaving people you thought you'd never leave, but for the sake of peace. That's why, but when you choose peace, you know who you're going to part with a lot because peace is very expensive. And sometimes it's not monetary expenses, but emotional, spiritual, and physical expenses that entail choosing your peace. So she was just rewriting that, Oguti, sometimes you wake up and it's okay outside. The sun is shining, the birds are chirping. And then sometimes it's like you just want to sleep and not get out of bed because what is this, you know? But there is something about the heart, guys. The heart, once it develops love for someone, it's so hard to tell it, Oguti, stop loving this person. You know, this person is hurting me. Stop loving this person because the heart is like, Gugum. Gugum. It's so, footy, if it's someone that is very toxic to you and you keep going back and forth and back and the heart is like it's doing beatboxing gear. Yeah. It just goes gugum. 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 That's why me like my heart. Please don't love this boy. And then your heart is like gugum. This way I am going. I'm going there. You're like, no, don't go there. He's like, I'm going. I'm like, don't. going there. So the heart, like, and when you, like, it's also that guilt goes, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I'm breaking my family. I Hey, yo, the battles are so many. The battles are so many. Pray for people that are leaving long-term relationships. Pray for people that are leaving marriages. Pray for people that are choosing peace because, tell, um, let me tell you something, it's not an easy choice. And also, in the same breath, let us not bash the ones that choose to stay. Because do you stay for the family or do you leave? For the family that was my battle do i stay for the kids or do i leave for the kids but i had to leave for the kids because it was no longer a home it was a house my class was broken it was not emptied because an emptied class you can always refill it back up mine was broken and shattered there was no way i could put it back together so sometimes you must just look at situations with is it broken or is it empty so that you know when you stand up are you taking the metro rail, the khao train, or the shosholoza? Because taking the shosholoza, it's going to be a very slow journey. But once you leave, honey, you are gone. As slow as your going may be, but you are gone, okay? A khao train is very fast. You're like... Poof! No? And then the metro rail is like... And then they're like, okay, we'll see how far you get. You're like, hey, la... Yeah, okay. Pella and the it has many stops. So you might stop here and he's gonna be like, I told you you weren't gonna get far. And then it goes to the next stop. How are you really going? And then he gets to the next stop and like, hey boy, you're going far. And then it's the next, and then it's gonna be like by the time he's Use George Gorson, Use Kum. Linda, hang in there. It was not an easy decision, and only you know how you got to that decision. It's gonna be a roller coaster. Some days are down, some days are up, some days are middle, some days are side, and no matter how long it takes, it is your journey to go through. It is your grief to go through. Breakups are easy. And if you're going through a breakup through the public eye, in front of all, all of us, in front of judgment, in front of this, that, and the other, it's even more harder. But I'm glad that a lot of people like are giving you words of encouragement. And don't forget what Usuk Akopi. And remember what you said about 2023. <laughs> so take your time. Take it easy. And if it's easy, take it home. Not a man, but your peace. I will see you on the next video. Bye.